basically as always I forgot to intro this video but basically today well not today in this video I'm going to take you to my favorite charity shops in London so in the UK we have vintage stores which are obviously run by companies um, for profit and often the prices are kind of high I mean I love vintage shopping and you can find some amazing things but it's kind of pricey and it's not the be all and end all sometimes I personally do the majority of my shopping in charity shop and I think the equivalent of charity shop in the US is your thrift store but I'm not really sure in the US you have thrift stores and vintage stores I don't know but in the UK we have charity shops which are basically just donated secondhand clothing and all the profits go to charity so you've got like cancer research British Heart Foundation Wild Mail Hospice all like so many we have so many and you have it in small towns it's not just in London like I did do a video about how I thrift in small towns and this is by going to charity shop and basically they are a lot cheaper it's a super ethical way of shopping and it's just basically a heap load of secondhand clothing for basically all under £10. That's how much charity shops are. The nature of it being like secondhand clothing is that it hit and miss so you can go in and find absolute amazing bargains and designers and the next day you find nothing but like granddad clothing but that's kind of the joy of it for me. So I'm going to take you to my favourite charity shop in London. So let's actually wait one more thing i want to tell you something which has been months and months and months in like my thought process i've basically taken the executive decision to not work with like large fast fashion brands on youtube so you know you see a lot of like massive clothing hauls where people will open up bags and bags and bags of new trends and new styles and i get why people want to see that because they want to see what's out there and what it looks like and whatever before they buy it and I'm guilty of doing things like this on my channel before but it just doesn't sit right with me so I'm not going to be doing those massive fast fashion hauls on this channel and it's a fine line for me to tread because if you follow me on Instagram you know that this industry is my job and I have to work with brands but I'm becoming more in a position where I'm established enough to be able to be choosy and work with people who I am aligned with and I have some great collaborations coming up with some super 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 cutting edge sustainable fashion brands which are new in the industry and this I can get behind I can put my heart into and really want to promote and work with and share with you guys so that's basically my decision and that being said please please let me know any video ideas on sustainable fashion thrifting whatever any video ideas actually that you want to see more on this channel because super excited to create some more videos it can be anything just really let me know what content you want to see i thought about doing wearing only secondhand clothing for a week because i want to show that you can be in this industry it can be your job you can be full-time instagram whatever you want to call me and still own only wear secondhand clothing, only wear cheap outfits, recycle clothing, redo outfits. I want to show that that's possible and to me that's the kind of content and YouTube videos I want to make. But anyway, before I chat too much, which you guys always tell me off for and I'm so sorry, um, but you're doing it again Olivia. So let's go to my favourite charity shops, thrift stores and come with me. So let's go. My first charity shop I'm going to take to you to, um, like basically my favourite, is in Covent Garden. The closest tube station is probably but it is this box farm, and I love it. So let's go inside. First thing I found immediately as I walked in the door was this oversized dad style French connection blazer which I totally love if you pair it with Levi's all over that. It's only $12.99 which I think is pretty reasonable. These were all the women's shoes. They did have some sneakers like Asics and Adidas. They ranged from around $40 to like I want to say £10. So the Adidas were around £20, which, I mean, I don't know, a little spenny. When I 
go to a charity shop, normally the first place I like make a beeline for is the men's sweaters. And I didn't really find much here today apart from this one kind of pastel blue Brooklyn, New York City sweater which I think was from H&M. It was only $4.99, which I thought was pretty pretty cheap. Um, the other thing I found also, I thought this was really cool. It was this Adidas sort of shell tracksuit top, which was $10.99, which I thought also for Adidas was pretty reasonable. found this sleeveless, I don't know how you call them, leather jacket which was $24.99. I really liked it, was tempted but still. So nah. that is Oxfam done and next up we're gonna go to South Kensington which has two of my favourite charity shops which are called Sue Ryder and um, I think think British Heart Foundation or something. Anyway, so next tube station is South Kensington. So see you there guys. So I lied. I actually popped into a vintage store on my way. So here we go. First thing I saw was literally this amazing spell out night sweater. So it's fate. I'm so glad I decided to be naughty and pop into a vintage store when I'm supposed to be filming charity shops. But you know, the sweaters in here are literally incredible and the super branded like sportswear sweaters are all around £30 or 30 to 35 but then you do get some sweaters that are 20 and four vintage sweaters and a vintage store. Pop Boutique is pretty reasonably priced. then found some super cool vintage light wash guest jeans which I thought were so so good I loved the colour and they were just look like the amazing fit of a perfect vintage jeans they were £35 which I guess they're guests but still for me that's kind of kind of expensive but if you think in Topshop you can get jeans for like £40 and they're not guest jeans and they're not this banging so I thought it was pretty good. So my favourite two charity shops in South Kensington are on a street called Butte Street which is super close to South Kensington tube station you literally just turn right as you come out of the tube and it's about a minute's walk so head to Butte Street and the first one is Octavia Foundation so let's look around.
didn't find much in here today actually but the one thing I did kind of like was this cream blazer as you can tell I have a thing with blazers at the minute I don't know why but it was from Zara and it was £20 which I thought I don't know for a second hand high street blazer it was a bit too expensive for me but they did have quite a few nice Zara blazers in there like this corduroy one as well so it was all right as well as Zara they also had this Topshop two-piece set which was in kind of like a is it minty green? I don't know, this kind of pastely green and I actually super super loved this. It came with pants and a blazer and it was like £30 which again I think is a bit too expensive for a second hand suit that's only from Topshop but still this was banging, I really liked it. This is something I can get behind but £30 not so much. I then found this super cute little like leather bag which is very i'm gonna shoot myself in the foot here because it's very bo botanegra how do you say that brand i should have googled it before i did this voiceover but anyway it's very like that brand it's super cute little sort of couche whatever looks like a dumpling to be honest bag but i thought it was really cute and it's super in fashion at the minute and it was 20 pounds leather bag i mean it's all right it's all right I then found the designer section where there were so many secondhand designers like this Joseph sweater which was £60 but then I also found some vintage Prada trousers which I thought were pretty cool but they were also £90 so when they realise it's a designer in charity shops they obviously put the prices up a lot so some of the designer stuff is super expensive but I did buy a Burberry coat from this store once and it was £60 and it's a, like a checked lined Burberry trench coat which I think, I mean, that's pretty good so yeah, they had Prada, Michael Kors, Joseph, Balenciaga, everything here so you just gotta have a rumble Then I headed to Royal Trinity charity shop which is literally almost directly opposite Octavia Foundation so it's super handy and this is another one of my favourites. Obviously I headed straight to the men's section because I'm predictable but I super loved this checked flannel shirt and it was only £10 but I'm just super into flannel shirts over joggers, hoodie, 
totally into that vibe at the minute so I was very tempted by this especially because it's like incorporates pale blue which is my favourite colour but basically they had loads of flannel shirts here that were all £10 or under. charity shop I'm going to take you to is another Royal Trinity which is on Portobello Road so let's go in again we head straight to that men's section but oh my oh my did it through because I found this most amazing bomber jacket which is very American NFL whatever sports this is league bomber jacket but I was just obsessed with the colors and just absolutely loved it and it was only 35 pounds but the men's section also had loads of other super cool cozy jackets which were sort of ranging from 10 to the most expensive being like £40 but yeah there were loads and I loved it. I then found the designer section or the luxury edit as they called it which was kind of expensive as you can see like these Manola blank shoes etc were kind of expensive and not anything I would buy but if you're into those kind of designers then head to your charity shops but they were £65 which I don't know what price they normally are but if that's good then I don't know but then I did find some Balenciaga pants which were only £35 they were these kind of nice camel beige colour and that really is something I can get behind thought they were pretty banging for £35, not gonna lie. I then found some Miu Miu pants and yeah I probably said that wrong too but I'm not really that hot up on my designers but these were only £50 and for a fact I know that is a banging bargain so they were pretty cool. I may or may not have been bad and brought the bomber jacket which is very garish and I don't know why but I wanted it so onwards and upwards to our next charity shop which is actually literally opposite and it's called Vision Foundation.
first things I found in here that were any good to me were they actually had quite a few band t-shirts and I thought these were actually pretty cool. I mean, for £5, Ramones band t-shirt, I can get on board with that. They also had a Beatles one, which was also cool. So yeah, there's that. I think there was a Bob Marley one too. That's coming in a bit here. Yeah, there we go. I then actually found this cropped blazer, which call me silly, but I actually really, really liked this and it was only nine pounds. And it's purely because I can envisage it with like a cropped white hoodie underneath and then some ripped Levi jeans. And I was already planning my outfit that I'd wear with this. So that's why I really liked it. And nine pounds, I mean, you can't really go wrong. I then found some cute white dungarees and they were only £15 so they were super cute. I probably would have got them if they were my size but unfortunately they were a bit too big but it just shows that there are loads and loads of different options in charity shops and yeah I also found some super cool jeans coming up like super cool pattern jeans and I think they were from Topshop. These ones. There we go. They I thought were super cute also but yeah. They also had this Prada purse, which, oh my gosh, I was obsessed with. If this had been in black, I totally would have got it for £40. I think that's pretty amazing. But also, I don't know if it was real or fake, you know? You can never really can tell. you just got to go with your instinct in charity shops. But I didn't get anything apart from the blazer. 